In today's video, we're going to show you one of the new features inside of the UChat platform, and that is the board section. The board section is basically a really easy management of your bot users through several stages of the funnel they are currently in. And you can create any kind of board that you want to. For example, you could create an appointment board where you have a uh, column for each day of the week, for example. So this way you can also see what kind of meetings are scheduled for which day. But you can also create boards for sales pipelines. So let's take the last option and create a quick board. You can, do, you can go towards the board section from the left hand menu once inside your chatbot and it's pretty much in the middle of the options on, of the left hand menu. So once you select board, you can create your first board here. If we take a look here, let's call this uh, lead to sales. And for example, the first stage a, a person can go in is for example, new lead, right? Then we could have a demo or meeting. We could also have a proposal, right? And then we could have a, uh, let's say opportunity with, right? So this means that the lead has been successfully converted into an actual sale. So if we press save, you'll see that the new board will be created and that we have all of these columns. You can also create a new column by just adding it by uh, basically from the top right uh, corner, right? So if you want to add a new column, you can do so as well. You can also switch the columns uh, from uh, in order that you like to. So if you created them in the wrong order or you want to basically add in a new column, you can just go and drag them anywhere you want to. You can also press the three dots and from here you will be able to adjust the name or delete the column entirely. So how does this work? You can use the board section in a few different ways. First of all, you can do this so inside the visual flow builder. If we go to any kind of flow, so let's go and create a test flow. So let's say this will be board. And if we go inside this flow, basically you can guide the user through a segmentation, right? And then at the last step, you will have an action block. From this action block, we can add an item. And then we will need to search for the board feature. I believe those are on the advanced sections. So if we go towards event, uh, advanced actions, then we will be able to see the move to board feature just below the set user menu. If we choose this and we can press the edit action, we can select a board to basically go and send the user to. So let's say this will be a new lead and we can also add a node action. We can say no change, we can say clear the note, or we can also update the note. And we can also, as you can see, have different kinds of note types. So we have a primary, secondary success, a danger, warning, info, and a light, and even dark note. So let's say this will be an info note, and this will be, um, for example, username or user. Let's go with first name. Actually, became a new lead. Really, really simple just to show you how it looked like on the board section. So if I go here and I preview this step, let's just go with web, previewing pop-up. You will not see any kind of notification because I'm just previewing an action block. Uh, but this is needed to be able to basically trigger this action block. So if we go towards boards now and we reload the page, we'll see that we have information now. So we now have guest, and then if we take a look inside, you will be able to directly communicate with this user. But if we go back, you will see that we have a new lead here. We have a node, guest became a new lead, right? And then we can also drag them to the several stages manually if we want to. We can also create automations, of course, and 
each time a user takes a certain action, you can move them through all of your boards. So for example, if a demo or meeting has been scheduled with the Calendly integration, for example, you can also have a basically an action to move the user from uh, the new lead column over to the demo and or meeting status. And you can also update the node as well. So this is the way that you can do so. The other way is by going towards the live chat and from the live chat, you will be able to use the board section directly on the right hand side. You will see the board section here. Sorry. And you can jump, then press the pencil icon. And from here, you can also leave new notes and you can also move them through the individual columns inside the board. Or if you have more boards, then you will be able to get them displayed in this overview as well. Lastly, you can also go towards the bot users and from the bot user overview, you can also adjust them directly manually here. So if you want to manually change that, then you can do so as well. You also have an action that you could do. So for example, so basically segment the bot users overview. So if we would do this, and let's say I want to segment to everyone of my uh, CMA membership in this case, right? Just press save and then we can select them all and we can also do a move to board action here with a bollock up action. So these are the ways that you can basically use the board feature to create any kind of small CRM system inside of UChat. This way you don't have to move or export the context towards a CRM system like HubSpot. You can create your own sales pipeline here. You can create a new board for appointment uh, systems right directly inside of UChat. So if you like this video, do consider dropping a like because it will help us out uh, reaching more people and showing the power of UJet and Chapel Marketing. But for now, have a great day, take care and talk soon.